Gross! Hey, everybody. Uh, you guys might recognize Mohawk from the Black Panther movies. Do you guys remember the mountain scene? He was the guy talking loudly in the chair behind you the entire film. <laughs> I am. I was so excited for this battle. I just can't wait to see how many other black people you think I look like. <laughs> God. Uh, Eric has the body of a teenage boy and the face of the man that would groom him. <laughs> that is not bad coming from Mr. Low T. That's good. <laughs> That was good, because the judge said that last week. Do you know any other black people? Name all two of them. Uh, can I get your names right here? <laughs> Mohawk is, uh, I believe, uh, bisexual, or as most black people call it, gay. <laughs> Which, it's very ironic to double the size of your dating pool when you definitely can't swim. God, thank you for that Aryan Urkel, you creepy fuck. God, you look like you tickle women to death on the red line. Scary as shit. Eric looks like he unhinges his jaw to eat pussy. <laughs> Mohawk was, uh, it's true, he was arrested a few years ago, and uh, he was actually sentenced to house arrest instead of jail. The cop said, quote, he was too excited to get butt fucked in the showers. <laughs> Nothing like a good old jail 2006 butt fuck joke. Good job. God. Uh, Eric looks like if Peter Parker got bitten by a radioactive calculator. <laughs> Uh, that was a good black nerd joke. That's good stuff from the target audience of the Little Black Mermaid. That's good. I, uh, I found this out. Mohawk's mom is actually a born-again Christian. Yeah, born-again, also what she called it when she had to puss his big, fat head out of her big, fat pussy. That's... I know. I just, b before I get into my last roast, you, you just went black joke, black joke, black joke. I don't know if you know this, the audience can fucking see me. No, no, I did mom fat pussy joke fourth. I timed that on purpose. <laughs> that was very sure. deliberate to go black, black, fat mom pussy, and then we'll do black to close on. Fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, Eric is the type of guy to show up to a circumcision uninvited to eat the foreskin. All right, we're, we're ending on black. Uh, it is actually very difficult to be both queer and black. There's a lot of questions, you know? Like, for instance, if Mohawk ends up marrying another black man, who will leave the child? <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. By the way, kind of fucked up. You guys were quiet the whole show. The second he got racist, you're like, yeah! <laughs> guys, one more time for that. What a great fucking way. To <laughs> me now. Very funny. All right, let's start off with Kaylee Horton. What did you think? God, that was really fucking funny, guys. Bravo to you both. That was hilarious. I will say, you guys were both funny, but the best part was his reaction to all of it. <laughs> um... Here's the thing. I don't, I don't know who to, I don't, listen. 
I just, I think it's nice that you roasted somebody who would steal your lunch money. Like, I think that's really sweet. Why are you saying, Kaylee? Uh, that you won it, I think. I think I'm giving it to you. Okay, it's, Eric, really close. Eric it to both. Give it up for Eric. Give it up for Eric. All right, all right, good. Uh, I, uh, I like that uh, Mohawk has the name of the villain of an unreleased barbershop movie. Uh, More black jokes, Quaslo. God damn it. No, that was a joke about the name Mohawk Johnson. Uh, look, look, I peep behind the curtain because this actually is super fucking impressive. That was only Mohawk's second roast battle ever. Wow. And he went that hard against somebody who is a motherfucking buzzsaw in this scene. I think the buzz saw took the cut. Like, Eric, you got that, but Mohawk, keep doing this shit. Yeah. 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 I thought you were both great. Uh, I'm gonna go with Eric, because I know my next door neighbor, Susan, I uh, would be really mad if I voted for him. <laughs> okay. That's it. She's Eric. kind of a liberal cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Eric gets the cut vote. I do want to get thoughts from the resident cuck, Kevin Callum. How are you? <laughs> Don't put your search engine history on me, asshole. That's not fair. But you made me choose between Evanston and Inglewood. This isn't fucking fair. <laughs> uh, no, I, uh, Mohawk, if, if you performed in a way that made me think, do you want to be here right now? <laughs> You performed with, I'm trying to pass the kidney stone, but I gotta do this set first. <laughs> uh, but no, I, honestly, you, you had a lot of fire, but Eric, Eric's just got a punch for every punch you threw, so I'm gonna go with Eric, but goddamn the Mohawk. It was really impressive. Good on you. I'm sorry. Hi, Damon. How are you, buddy? I'm, I'm fantastic, man. Um, clearly. <clears throat> The best part about a racist joke is if the person's race that you're talking about can laugh at it. And that shit was funny. Uh, <laughs> a better joke for you would have been Mohawk Johnson sounds like a nicely trimmed penis. Take it now. I was I was I was I was, was, was riding with you, brother, you know, when you talked about your mama, because you know, we don't do that. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching Roast Battle Chicago right here on the YouTubes, all right? Why haven't you subscribed yet? That's right, we have a whole bunch of free stuff. You can check out full docu-series, full battles with some of the biggest names and the meanest ones in all of comedy. You can subscribe, hit that like button, and check out these videos right over here.